All right, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to be covering a new quick tip. This will be quick tip number four, okay? We're gonna be in the key C major as always. So you have C is one, D is two, E is three, F is four, G is five, A is six, B is seven, and C is one, okay? This is the, the quick tip. So let's say you're on that. Going to the five. All right, so that's the movement that I'm going to be showing you. It's a diminished chord movement, okay? So the normal thing that we would do is um, we play the one over the five, which is C major, my right hand, C and E and G. Left hand's on the five, which is G, making a power to chord by playing the D, which is the fifth, and G in the left hand as well, so I'm making it a power chord. So you go back and forth, right? I know you heard that done in gospel a million times. Right? Alright, or that's the way to do it, right? So that second chord, I'm looking at the two in my bass, which is D. Right hand's playing an F minor, F, A flat, and C, or the four minor. So essentially, if you put this together, it's a four minor, F, A flat, and C, with that two, which is like essentially making this F minor with the six in it, all right? So I take the two out of the bass, out of the right hand rather, and put it in the bass. And then that gives me that progression. Okay? So if we want to jazz this up or spice it up, what we do in the left hand, let's say you have a bass player. I'm not playing that D anymore. I'm not playing the two. Instead, I'm going to play the tritone, right, in my left hand to make this fatter. So the tritone is going to be the two and the sharp five. That's the tritone. They're three whole steps apart, right? I got a lesson on tritones if you need some more assistance with that. But anyway, so you're going to play the tritone and voice the chord that way. Now, this gets boring if you do this enough times, right? So I figured a way to spice this up by going like this. Okay, what was that? All right, that is a diminished chord movement. So you're here, right? In order to get back to that one over five, I do this nice movement, right? So what I do is I form, this is how I'm thinking about it, right? I form a tritone using the third scale degree. So one, two, three, form a tritone using that E. A tritone away from E is going to be B flat. I know that because I go up three whole steps. One, two, three, and I find the B flat. Or you could look at it as going three, going down three whole steps. One, two, three. You come up with the same response, right? So I'm thinking left hand play the tritone off of the three, right? My right hand is going to think about um, finding the third scale degree, one, two, three, and playing a diminished seventh using that E. So it could be like this. It could be like this. It could be like this or this, right? All, uh, all four of those, one, two, three, all four of those, uh, chords use that E in the diminished seventh. So that's how I'm thinking about it, right? So let's say you're back on that one over five. And then you go to that F minor six, right? Then I go to that, that chord right there, right? So I'm playing that tritone in my left hand. Again, the right hand's thinking, find the third scale degree of C major and form a diminished seventh using it, right? And now I'm just going to go play that. Then go down a whole step. So I moved my tritone down a whole step, right, to D and A flat. I moved this diminished seventh chord down a whole step, right? So D flat, E, G, and B flat. Move that down a whole step. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so I played it off of the three, go down a whole step. Now I go down a half step, right? And so I'm ending up on the D flat and G in my left hand. Right hand's playing B flat, D flat, E and G. Right, then I go back to that um, that F minor six. And then that takes me to the five, the one over the five. Okay, so let's do it again. Right. Off of the three. Down a whole step. Down a half step. Back to that minor chord. 
and then to the one over the five. And it sounds really sweet. Again. Uh oh, huh? Right? So you're going one, two, three, four, land. So that's the four chord diminished drop, right? Uh, four different chords walking down diminished uh, chords in my right hand. And it sounds sweet. Now, the cool thing about this is you don't have to just finish it at four. You can extend it and do one, two, three, four, right? So you can keep it going, but it's really more about timing, okay, and what you want to do. You don't want to sound too busy, but let's say you're really, really building this up, you know. It can be really useful if people are really building up. All right, so instead of doing it four times, I did it six times. Again, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, land. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, land. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, land. All right, so that's the movement. Now, again, what I'm thinking is find the three, and this is the pattern to it. You go play it, and then go down a whole step, half step, whole step, half step then you chord and then you land okay so that's it again play it whole half whole half your chord and land all right and it's just a beautiful progression all right i hope this is a blessing to you for more content just like this make sure you click on the next video at the bottom of the screen and i'll see you in the next video